Penny Mordaunt is favorite with the Tory grassroots, but the public barely know who she is. The trade minister has been described as continuity Boris Johnson and Theresa May with bigger hair but her allies say her most important quality is knowing she has what it takes to be prime minister. As temperatures in the packed room of Westminster Cinnamon Club soared above 30 degrees Celsius on Wednesday morning, Penny Mordaunt showed little sign of the heat as she battered off questions over her image and style of politics. The trade minister was asked what she would do about the fact some in the Tory party see her as merely Theresa May with bigger hair or that the public barely knows who she is. I would like to know you all better, Ms Mordaunt said, before going on to reassure Conservative MPs and members that she was there I would like to know you all better, at winning another term in government. If public recognition of the 49-year-old former Defence Secretary is low now, her profile is about to be raised significantly. She is, however, popular among party members. A YouGov poll carried out on Tuesday saw her as the preferred candidate among the party faithful who will, ultimately, decide the election. On Wednesday she came second in the first round of voting in the Tory leadership contest, running Rishi Sunak close on 88 votes to 67. Many see her as a strong contender to face the ex-chancellor in the final runoff. Her campaign launch, with promises on easing the cost of living crisis, more power for parents with childcare spending, a civil defense force and a pledge to get the party playing the old stuff again such as low tax, small state and personal responsibility, has helped her ratings climb among Tory MPs and, according to the latest YouGov poll, conservative members. Ms Mordaunt has a colorful backstory. Her grandmother's cousin is Dame Angela Lansbury of Murder She Wrote Fame, and she starred, while an MP, in the celebrity diving program Splash donating her £10,000 appearance fee to charity. She worked as a magician's assistant to help pay for university costs. But her career progression is more traditional, after studying philosophy at Reading, she worked in PR before joining Conservative Central Office, under then leader William Haig, as head of broadcasting, has been MP for Portsmouth North since 2010, and an officer in the Royal Navy Reservists for most of the last decade. Ms Mordaunt served in Mrs May's cabinet, as International Development Secretary and Defence Secretary, but was demoted by Boris Johnson due to an apparent clash of personalities. One colleague from her years in central office was the Westminster PR expert Katie Perrier, who later went on to be Mrs May's Director of Communications. Ms Perrier, who has known the leadership candidate for more than 20 years, says, she trained me and I looked up to her. I learned a huge amount from her and she was a great colleague and friend. Some in the Tory party view Ms Mordaunt as a continuity Johnson candidate, but others point out those similarities to Mrs May, in particular her sense of duty to the party and country, and a fierce work ethic. Ms Perrier adds, the Conservative Party comes first, to her, above everything else. She has a wish to serve her country in the same way she served with the Royal Navy.